to see. What do they have to say for you? Glasses on. Virgos. Way down there. We have the three of emotion. So I'm going to read this to you. It says, wonderful news is on its way. Announcements regarding engagements, pregnancies, births, or graduations will be revealed. New friends will be made or communities of like-minded people will draw closer to one another. Exciting new beginnings or happy endings are just around the corner. Wow, nice for the first part of this reading. So, <clears throat> all, um, all cards are male or female. This is a general reading that won't resonate with everyone. Take what does resonate or perhaps get a private reading from somebody that you trust. I do private readings. If you'd like to just shoot me an email in the description box below this video, we can get started. So here we go. Seven of Wands surround your entire reading. Look at all those wands coming in. Everybody. These are people who care about you, though, you know, and love you. They have an opinion about what you should do, but you got your wand out and you're like, well, you know, you'll pick, you'll choose who you want to listen to, what you want to do. You may not listen to any of them. And up in your highest energy, this is why everybody's got an opinion, is the devil. This is the card for Capricorn. Capricorn might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading, but the energy is totally different. The energy is toxic. So that, see the two other figures here? See the pentacle? There's toxic energy. There's something else. Another person, an addiction. There's something going on that's attached to whoever it is you're attached to that is preventing this relationship from becoming grounded and solid or committed. These are the two strongest energies in your whole reading, Virgos. So everybody's got an opinion about this. I have the Five of Wands next to the Devil and right above the Seven of Wands. So yeah, you're, you're trying to figure this out. You're, you're going back and forth in your mind about this whole thing. You, so look, you have all your own wands and you're playing tug of war here. And, and, and you're like, sometimes you're like, you can, you think you can deal with it or figure it out. And other times you're like, no, I'm not going to, I, I don't want to. So yeah, you're back and forth on this one. I have the justice card next to the five of wands. This is the card for Libra. So Libra might be strong in your chart or in someone else's around this reading. But it's all about getting rebalanced. So you will become rebalanced. You got your scales balanced. It's like blind justice. You have the sword hanging in front of you for protection. Protection, self-protection. It's like self-justice. <clears throat> I have the sun. And the sun is my favorite card. It's right below the devil and next to the seven of wands. There are fresh starts and new beginnings coming in with lots of love and lots of joy. It's a beautiful card. So... Uh, this devil energy will be going away one way or another. And I have the seven of wands. You're going to make it happen. You're going to do it your way. I have the world right next to the seven of wands and under the justice card. You are entering a new life cycle. There you go. You definitely, once you get balanced, you are entering a whole new life cycle. Isn't that beautiful? You can just see how nice this is going to be and how it's going to feel. And then we have the Knight of Cups. Oh my goodness. So I have the Knight of Cups under the sun. There's somebody coming in with a love offer. This could be small, like, can I have your phone number? You know, but they're sincere. They don't have any ulterior motives. Uh, they just want to get to know you better. And they are coming in. And in their cup, they do. They can offer you a fresh start, a new beginning. And they can offer you lots of love and lots of joy. You have waited. You've waited for someone to come in with that cup of love and a pentacle. Okay? I know you were waiting for a pentacle from this other person. Um, a long time. So this bush, it's like it, it, like it blossomed but never bore fruit. And so this figure, she's standing there with an empty basket because she can't pick anything. And just waits and waits. Wasting time. 
So there you are. You've been through it. You, you haven't had commitment. Somebody comes in with this sincere love offer, and you're thinking it's the page of cups. You're thinking, oh, I don't know. I think this is just another one of those dumb offers, you know. This one has a fish in it. It's a page that's very young. It's immature. And you really don't trust it that well because you've already spent a lot of time waiting for, you know, a real relationship. And you're like, oh, gosh, I don't even know if I want to do this. This is just like a half a cup of love. Do they really got it in them? Well, yes, they do. Because this card is right below the world, the whole new life cycle. This Whoever's coming in um, with this love offer, uh, which, like I said, could be a cup of coffee or a phone number, um, there's, they are sincere, and they have a lot that they can offer you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you are definitely moving forward. Oh, my gosh. Things are going to change for you. Oh, yeah. Things are definitely going to change. Okay, so I have the Four of Wands next to the Justice card. This is a card of celebration. This is a card of love. This is a soulmate energy. See the 1111 in the Wands. This can be a card of marriage. Oh, my gosh. So you get all balanced, and you're in self-protection mode here with the Justice card. You don't want to deal with anybody who's going to jerk you around or anything like that, and you're going to do everything that you can do to stay balanced. I have the Eight of Swords next to the Four of Wands. Yeah, you were, you, and you know it. You were living in this place with this other relationship of having the truth and the clarity all around you. Look at that. You have your hand on your cheek. You could you can you can remove that blindfold. You can see the truth and the clarity, but you kind of chose to ignore the truth and clarity in hopes that things would work its way out. Um, yeah, so you know you were in that energy. You are going to let it go though, because I have the Ten of Wands over here. I have the Page of Pentacles next to the Eight of Swords. So this is a young energy, and there you are. You're you're waiting for them to offer a pentacle. You, you know, you wanted to be just, even if anything, monogamous, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, go steady, anything. And I don't think it was coming in. And you were ignoring it. What you wanted and what, how you felt was the Four of Wands. But I think the Four of Wands is this offer coming in. I really do. Because you're going to be moving forward with the Four of Wands into your new life cycle. There's a chariot, the card for cancer. And you can move forward pretty fast with this card. That's a very exciting card to see here. You're moving quickly into a new life cycle. I have the Queen of Swords next to the chariot and under the Eight of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is air, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Very strong Libra. And you have Libra here. But um, this is having your sword out. And it's, you know, demanding truth, demanding clarity. Right under the Eight of Swords, you, you kind of learned a lesson there. You're wide-eyed here. And um, you're going to speak your mind, you're going to speak your truth, and you're going to get the truth from this person who comes in where you, you're like not really believing, you know, that they're sincere. But because of you demanding the truth... I have the Ten of Wands. This is going to help you put down the burden that you've been carrying about this past relationship. So the, see the wands slipping away? They're starting to fall out there. And you can drop them all at once or one by one. You know, it's been a burden waiting for a solid and committed and grounded relationship. That these wands are going to leave. I have the Five of Swords under the Chariot next to the Page of Cups. There you are, picking up swords of truth and clarity, and you're letting this old energy fade off into the distance. This is really going to allow you to move forward, right, under the chariot. I have the Ace of Swords next to the Five of Swords and under the Queen of Swords. The, the truth and clarity is like the most important thing in this reading with this Ace of Swords. Pay attention to the swords and the truth and the clarity. Demand it. This is advice coming from the tarot cards. Because this is, look at all, look at how it's just glowing. That is where you're going to find your happiness. Seek the truth. Seek the clarity. Are they a seven of cups? 
or not. So you're going to, you know, take that sword and you're going to nip that right in the bud. If there are seven of cups, you're going to find out right away. Perfect. So all these cups have something else in them. They, they're, they're the wrong cups. So, you know, they'll, they're enticing, but they are all the wrong cups. And that's been a burden in your life. And now there you are. You're like, you're going to, you know, right away, you're going to try to see through the offers that come towards you and figure out, are they a seven of cups? Like with the page of cups, that's just another one of those cups. Or are they really the knight of cups? So this person coming in is a knight of cups because I have the four of wands here. And you're going to find that out 